Hello everybody and welcome to Lake Constance. Today we have a yoga workout challenge for you. So if you're new to yoga workouts or power yoga, know that they, can, they are considered to be a little bit challenging and quite tough. So just do your best, just follow my guide. Maybe you want to skip some poses and that's absolutely fine because they are quite intense. So with this said, just grab your mat and let's do this. All right, friends, we're going to begin today at the very back of the mat. Let's go ahead and inhale, reaching both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, dive all the way down, walking with our hands into a high plank and then walking back. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, dive, walk out into a plank and walk it back. We're warming up the body with a Tadasana plank flow to make sure we are ready for the more intense poses. Make sure to take deep breaths and give your shoulders a big roll as you come up. We've got a few more to do. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, dive and walk it into a high plank. Now we're going to hold this plank for 10 seconds. Beautiful, walk back, roll your shoulders, inhale, bring the arms to the sky, exhale, dive forwards, plank. To advance, we're going to bring one knee in, the other knee in, walk back, inhale, reaching up to the sky, exhale, lower, high plank, knee to chest for one, two, three, and four. Very good, walk it back to standing. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, bring the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold, high plank. Knee to chest for six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk back to standing. Last round, you know what to do. Big inhale. Exhale, this time round, we're going to do eight knees to chest for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's hold it right here for 10 more seconds. Very nice friends, lower the knees to the mat and let's begin with some glute exercises, starting with the right leg. Extend it, making sure that both hips remain centered and kick it up, tap the mat and kick. Tap, kick, tap, kick. You've got this. And when it starts to burn, remember to smile. Engaging the glute muscles, try to keep the leg as straight as possible. Very nice. Now let's take it to the other side. Extend the left leg out, hips are centered. Kick it up and tap the mat. Kick, tap. We're keeping the foot flexed to stretch the hamstring. Keep going. Last three, two, and one. From here, we're going to inhale, step it back into a plank, and exhale, downward dog. Inhale, shoot forward into a plank. Exhale, bend the knees and push back into a dog. That counts as one. Keep going. We're flowing from a plank to a downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, and push back into dog. Find the flow in the movement, just like a wave riding the sea. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Last one. Now staying in the plank, lower the knees to the mat. We're gonna lift the legs and let's do eight tricep push-ups. Elbows are pointing backwards. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. You can also just lower halfway. And these are called negative push-ups. Very effective to start building strength. Last one. And now you can stay on the knees or come into a plank. We're going to inhale, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, push your hips back into a downward dog. And let's walk it out on the spot, one leg at a time. 
feeling a nice deep stretch through the hamstrings. Come back to your breath. And you can also take a child pose at any moment during the class or pause the video if you need a break and don't forget to drink water. Moving on. Option one is to bring the left knee to the left elbow, just like this. Option two is to lift into a three-legged dog and then touch the elbow with the knee. This option is more challenging, so a modification is to stay on both knees and touch the elbow with the knee. Exhale with the knee and elbow touch. So whichever version you're doing, inhale when the leg moves away from you. Last one. Inhale, push back into a three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping the left foot between both hands. Runner's lunge. Finding our breath, our balance. And when you're ready, Inhale, come back to center. We're going to draw big circles forward and around. Ready? Inhale, forward, exhale, back for one. Inhale, forward, exhale, back for two. Forward and around for three. We're activating many muscle groups, the core, the back, the legs, strengthening the ankles and feet as well. Three more like this. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Very nice, my friends. Now let's place the hands on the hips. Let's do a set of lunges and check that the front knee doesn't go past the ankle and be mindful to not hurt the back knee doing the lunge. And don't worry if you lose your balance. Look at a fixed point in front of you. You can also use a piece of furniture or a wall to assist you. Just a few more. That's it. Very good. And now we're gonna bring the hands down to the mat. Inhale. As you exhale, push the hips back, extending both legs. Inhale, runner's lunge forward. Exhale, extend the legs. Repeating a couple more times. And be sure to have the hips centered so we're not opening the hips to one side. And you can also rest the hands on books or blocks if it's more comfortable, as this is a very deep stretch for the hamstrings. So if you need to bend the front knee, do so. Now extend both legs, staying here for a few breaths. Very nice, let's take a flow. Inhale, step it back into a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, we're going to open into a side plank. So bringing one foot in front of the other. The top arm reaches for the sky. Going to inhale. Exhale, we're going to twist and thread the arm through for one. Inhale, open. Exhale and thread for two. Keep going. This is quite an advanced pose, so you can lower the knee just like this to make it a little bit easier. We're activating the shoulders, biceps, triceps, the back, toning the entire core, giving the waistline a nice definition. Good. Last one. Inhale. Return to plank and let's take a flow. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now we're going to repeat on the other side, starting with the knee to elbow taps. But first, let's walk it out on the spot, giving our body a nice stretch. So remember option one is to flow from a downward dog and tap the right knee to the right elbow, just like this. Option two is to lift the right leg into a three-legged dog and then tap the elbow with the knee. And of course this option is more challenging, so the modification is you can stay on both knees and just tap the elbow with the knee. 
Inhale when you flow back into dog and exhale when you tap the knee. An amazing pose as we're turning the muscles in the entire body, including the hip flexors. Last one. Inhale, push it back into a three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between both hands, runner's lunge. In our next inhalation, we're going to lift the body into a high lunge, taking our arm circles one more time. Inhale forward, exhale back for one. Inhale forward, exhale back for two. Forward and around for three. This is another pose where we're going to feel the whole body working, particularly the core to keep us balanced. Very nice, big circles. Imagine you're trying to reach for something. Beautiful friends, now let's rest the hands on the hips, moving on to our last set of lunges, starting with both legs extended. Inhale, lower, exhale, extend for one. Inhale, lower, exhale, extend for two. Slow movement, don't rush through it. This is how we tone and sculpt when we're tired. We tend to go faster, but we can lose the correct form and end up injuring ourselves. So if you're tired, take a break and come back to it. Last three, two, one. And now bring the hands on the mat, extend the back leg, giving the hamstrings a deep stretch. Inhale, exhale, push the hips back, extending both legs. You can also place the hands on blocks or books if it's more comfortable. Repeating a couple more times. Inhale, bend the front knee, exhale, extend both legs. Be sure to have the hips centered. We're not opening the hips to one side. Good, this is your time to breathe. So exhale, extend. And let's hold it here. Okay, let's take a vinyasa flow. Inhale, step it back into a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, we're going to roll over into a side plank, bringing one foot in front of the other. The top arm reaches for the sky. Inhale. Exhale, thread the arm through for one. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread for two. Keep pushing. Remember, you can always modify by keeping the left knee on the mat, just like this. And listen to your body. So if you feel the need to modify, just do it. As we do more of these exercises, we get stronger and can move on to the next level. All right, we're going to transition back into a plank, taking the last vinyasa flow of this class. Inhale, exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. We have two more core exercises and then we're finished. So making our way into a seated position in the center of the mat with both legs in front of us. We're going to place the hands under the knees. Inhale, lift both legs, holding this boat pose. And if you can, release the hands, trying to stay as still as possible. Draw the navel into the spine and keep breathing normally. And then moving on to boat to canoe, placing the hands behind us. Inhale, extend the legs, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Check that the belly isn't bulging out, but stays flat. Last six, five, you're doing great. Three, two, and one. Stay with me for our last exercise, bicycle twists. Hands behind the head. 
left leg extends, right leg comes in. Inhale, exhale, left elbow to opposite knee, and let's go for two, three. Engage your core, draw the navel in, don't rush through it. Inhale, center, exhale, twist, keep going. We've got eight more. Stay strong, stay with me. Three, two, one, hold it, and let's double time it for 20. Let's go, you can do this. Don't give up now, I can feel it too. Just a few more seconds, breathe through it. You're stronger than you think. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, my friends. Let's take a well-deserved rest, knees to the chest and gently rock from side to side. Coming back to our breath, you can close your eyes and letting go of the legs, extend both legs and arms to opposite sides, pointing the toes, stretching the fingers, giving our core a beautiful and nice stretch. They have worked really hard today and remember to drink water throughout the day. Okay, let's close our practice in a seated position of your choice in the center of the mat. Let's take a head roll to one side and the other side, allowing your head to be heavy. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Thank you for challenging your body, your mind, for making it through and for strengthening and toning those muscles, sending you love and light from the beautiful Austrian Alps. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste. So thank you very much for watching this video right through to the end. And we just wanted to give a quick message that if you can and is within your means and you'd like to support us to please join our Patreon account where you're also going to have a lot of exclusive content that we don't share on YouTube. And also remember, it's just us two uh, running the channel. We don't have like a, a big team, like a, a competition we're, we're up against. So your support is much appreciated. Yeah, and if it's not for you, then don't worry. You can still watch all our content for free on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for being here with us and big kisses and hugs from snowy austria bye, bye.